there's an improved payload, there's improved environmental protection for the, for the soldiers, there's improved electromagnetic compatibility, it's less detectable, uh, and there's also uh, improvements in the rollover protection for the soldiers as well. It will carry the same sort of weapons fit, so machine guns, a general purpose machine gun, and a heavy machine gun typically, but actually we can fit far, a far wider variety of mission systems to it, be that detection, so surveillance mission systems, be that um, uh, indirect fire mission systems, uh, and potentially missile systems as well. One of the key enhancements is, is to bring uh, the windscreens uh, onto Jackal 3. So uh, it sounds like a small thing, but actually, if you're in a if you're in a particularly cold environment, the ability if you're doing long road transfers, uh, the ability just to have a windscreen to keep the heat uh, within the cab can make an enormous amount of difference. Typically, uh, they've been used in a, in a variety of um, fire support roles um, for um, infantry units. They're also used in reconnaissance roles um, and for patrolling. Um, so people will be very familiar with having seen them employed in Afghanistan, predominantly they're in a fire support role. Um, we also deployed them in support of the United Nations in Mali. There they were operating more in a sort of a long range patrol uh, role. Um, so it's generally in uh, patrolling, reconnaissance, fire supports, those sorts of roles they're optimised for. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.